Hello, hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Angela, and we are pressing along our journey of reading the book of Proverbs. If you're here for the first time, can I say welcome? Welcome to this channel, you know, and welcome to our pressing into 45 days of prayer and reading of Proverbs, seeking out the book of wisdom. Now it's almost 12 a.m., and we are pushing into seeking the presence of God and seeking that he illuminate his text and that enlightenment that help us to understand more what is wisdom is saying at such a time as this. Do you want to get more wisdom? Do you want to get more understanding? Especially when it, especially when it comes to the word of God, we want to be enlightened. We want to be in, infused with that flavor of the word that comes alive in our hearts and mind and and do a new thing in our lives because in sin did our mother conceive us and this is the word that brings us into righteousness brings us into holiness help us to make better decision many a times we make the decision that is not pleasing and we come to 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 reap a bad fruit from those decisions that we have made and so in this season we are trusting god that as we press on to this journey we are not pressing in faith we are not we are pressing in faith but we are not pressing and not going to reap anything from what we have labored for so we are not doing it in vain so i was going to say vain and then faith came <laughs> Faith came in the, in the midst of me saying vain. So we don't want to do it in vain. We want to do it by faith. And uh, faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Father, we give you thanks for such a one that come in contact with this channel. And uh, for those that are already a part of this family. Father, we just want to thank you for them. We exalt your holy name. Thank you for the strength that you have blessed and bestowed upon my body, upon my mind to push in this 32 days. 32 days of seeking your presence and just exalting your name, setting my face towards getting this thing done and to read and to just seek you wholeheartedly. Lord God, just touch, move upon the situations, oh God, that of your people. You know where they're at. You know what is taking place in their lives. You know the point of where they're at, mighty God. And so even as we press, Lord, prepare us for whatever is out there that is to come upon us. Lord God Almighty, there are many things that, that to come to beset us. And so we pray that you will give us a resilient heart. You will give us a heart that is determined, a heart that is fixed and keep on going as long as the journey has not been completed. And so God, we just want to thank you. Thank you for our brothers and sisters in Christ, mighty God, each and every one that is in this family. Father, breathe afresh upon them that in this time when you give them the vision, God, they will not tarry. But Father, they will keep on moving and trusting you that your kingdom would be glorified through them because God it has been written that man's sole purpose is to worship you and you alone mighty God we pray that you will breathe afresh upon our eyesight upon our earring that God when we read the word it will come alive in our hearts in our mind and in our home over our families over our neighbors over our enemies mighty God yes I said over our enemies yes I said it over our enemies the bible said we must pray for our enemies we must feed them if they are hungry remember your enemies right now and pray a prayer for your enemies i pray for my enemies tonight i pray for my enemies i put them before your mighty god only you see their plans and plot and so God in their ignorance mighty God I pray that God you will help them to go the right way in the mighty name of Jesus we pray that God you will lift them up oh God and that you will show them the brighter path in the name of Jesus because you said vengeance is yours and you will repay it thus says the Lord and so we pray we pray for family members that are backslidden and oh God almighty lift them up right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we pray for those oh God 
God Almighty, that are sick. Infirmity is rocking their bodies in the name of Jesus. And God, we pray that your power of healing will be upon them in the name of Jesus. So mighty God, that are homeless right now we pray for them and we pray that god you will provide a home for them in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth as we press on into this reading of the word coming from the book of proverbs proverbs 22 our 32 part father we pray that your word will come alive we thank you for that 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 energy mighty god that bursting mighty god that insight revelation and understanding everything god that you see fit to bring us into the newness and bring us into the understanding of your word god we thank you and we glorify you and we put all in your hands and in your cares as we pray for everyone and everyone that they will be where you want them to be in the name of jesus christ of nazareth amen and this word does read, a good name is to be chosen rather than great riches, loving favor rather than silver and gold. The rich and the poor have this in common. The Lord is the maker of them all. A prudent man foresees evil and hides himself, but the simple pass on and are finished. By humility and the fear of the Lord are riches and honor and, and life. Thorns and snares are in the way of the, of the perverse. He who guards his soul will be far from them. Train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. The rich rules over the poor, and the borrower is servant to the lender. He who, he who sows iniquity will reap sorrow, and the rod of his anger will fail. He who has a gen generous eye will be blessed, and he gives of his bread to the poor. Cast out the scoffer, and contention will leave yes strive and reproach will cease he who loves purity of heart and has grace on his lips the king will be his friend the eyes of the lord preserve knowledge but he overthrow the words of the faithless the lazy man says there is a lion outside I, I, shall, I shall be slain in the street. The mouth of an immoral woman is a deep pit. He who is ob, obheard by the Lord will fall there. Foolishness is bound up in the heart of a child. The rod of correction will drive it far from him. He who oppresses the poor to increase his riches and he who gives to the rich will surely come to poverty incline your ear and hear the words of the wise and apply your heart to my knowledge for it is a pleasant thing if you keep them within you let them all be fixed upon your lips so that your trust may be in the Lord. I will instruct you today, even you. Have I not written to you excellent things of counsel and knowledge, that I may make you know the certainty of the words of truth, that you may answer words of truth to those who send to you. Do not rob the poor because he is poor, no, up, nor oppress the afflicted at the gate, for the Lord will plead their cause and plunder the soul of those who plunder them. May no friendship with an angry man and with a furious man do not go, lest you learn his ways 
and set a snare for your soul. Do not be one of those who shake hands in a pledge, one of those who is surety for debts. If you have nothing with which to pay, why should, you, why should he take away your bed from under you? Do not remove the ancient landmark which your father have set, 29 and last. Do you see a man who excel in his work? He will stand before kings. He will not stand before unknown men. Here ended a portion of God's word. I honor it by saying thanks be to God. And my comment tonight will be, this Proverbs refer to an excuse, to an excuse a lazy person might use to avoid going to work. The excuse sounds silly to us, but that's often how our excuses sound to others. Don't rationalize laziness. Take your responsibilities seriously and get to work. Young children often do foolish and dangerous things simply because they don't understand the consequences. Wisdom and common sense are not transferred by a patient, by a parent's good example alone. The wisdom a child learns must, not, must be thought consciously. The rod of correction stands for all forms of discipline or training. Just as God trains and corrects us to make us better, so parents must discipline their children to make them learn the difference between right and wrong. That's the end of my comment. And I thank you if you are at this point in 12 minutes. I just want to thank God for you. And as I close my eyes, I'm believing God that whatever you have written for God to change in your life, I'm believing that it shall be changed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And that God will will be done upon you. Everything that he has written for your life, I'm believing I'm believing with you that it shall be so and it shall be done even now in Jesus' precious name. Amen. See, feel, and see the vision that God has given unto you. Don't give up. Don't give in. This is a moment in time that it is so, so important that we read and we maintain and meditate upon the word of God. Speak it everywhere you go in your home and everywhere you step. May the word continue to work within you, through you, and be a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your path. God bless you until we meet again.